Yo, it's like, Mobby, what is going on? I'm sorry, y'all, okay? This job is kicking my... Sorry, this job's kicking my... Man, they been having me work these 80s. So here we go. I got another late night special for the gang today, man. And I hope y'all stay up and enjoy it. Hit that like and subscribe button for your boy. Um, and I just want to say, forget everything you have heard about Malcolm Rodriguez, all right? I want you to forget everything you have heard. Since I've been doing this film set stuff last year, we had a few dudes coming to the space and doing it themselves. And, I, you know, it's a lot to everybody. But I want y'all to forget everything they've told you about this dude. Because he's even better. All right. I'm not one of those dudes like cherry pick highlights. I really like to get down and break down the film. I'm a tendency type of dude. And when I talk about tendencies, I just, I, you got to love 44. The way he plays the game is just absolutely amazing. Um, his eyes are really good. Head's always up. Always looking for the ball. He's always around the ball. Has a nose for the football. Uh, and, um, I can't wait to show you guys uh, some of what he did today against Philly. So let's load up a, another film session. This is on Malcolm Rodriguez. And then clean it up later on in the game as the game goes on. You want to see a rookie six round pick get on the field. Uh, and then you can talk about first game, nervous, jitters. This is how you start the game off, nervous, jittery, all that. And he's going to put on a clinic of how you clean this shit up throughout the game and you don't just keep doing the same thing over and over again, all right? Malcolm Rodriguez here. They're going to get him out in space. Now, again, I love Rodriguez, bro. I like how he doesn't take any false steps and he's quick to read. Quarterback's eyes here. He's here. What's going over here? He's diagnosing, gets on his horse, breaks it down. He doesn't, he, listen, he's not just going to crash. As you can see, he's going to gather himself, right? We're going to let this run through. No false steps here. Gathers himself, breaks down. This is a nice attempt at a block here. Breaks down and gets himself to the football. He's not just running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Not just running into people. You know, he's getting under. He's swimming. He's dipping his shoulders. He's getting to the football. Um, he's not able to make this tackle here on Quez Watkins. I think that's who that was, right? Uh, hit him with that spin move. No, that was uh, A.J. Brown. Sorry. A.J. Brown is able to hit him with that spin move. But look, just look at how clean he plays this. Immediately. Hurts his eyes. Goes over here. His eyes goes over here. He's diagnosing, breaking down. Gets on his horse. Slips through this big guy here and tries to get some of this football. Uh, rather than, uh, I think he should have, if we if we got to really get to talking, he's got to play with a lot more uh, balance here. I do understand what he was trying to do, but he's lunging and reaching. He's got he's to gotta attack his inside leverage here, dip his shoulder, but he's still got to stay on a path to the football. He, he kind of reached and got grabby there. And... Um, that's what's going to happen. You'll get hit with a spin move. But that's a rookie making his first play, his first mistakes in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a six-round guy. But watch how my man rebounds, man. That's why I like this dude. From Rodrigo as a two-down thumper, straight-up run stopper. But in zone coverage, he actually does some good here. In this play, he's going to sink into his cover, uh, his, his mid. He has to cover like mid, seam. Uh, his curl hook, I should say. He's going to sink into his curl hook zone coverage here. And he's actually going to take away Jalen Hurts once uh, Devontae Smith. He's actually going to take away Devontae Smith, force um, the pass into the flat here. And then he's actually going to come help Jeff Okuda get some of this tackle too. So it was actually a pretty good play out of here by Rodriguez in zone coverage. You can see he gets his death. All right. Gets over. Gets in the passing lane, stays in the passing lane of Devontae Smith this entire time. I thought that was a really good job by him of getting his death and then getting down on his horse when he sees the ball get out of his hands and then coming down and helping in the flat as well, reading the quarterback's eyes, and then come and help get some of this tackle uh, with Miles Sanders. See it better from this angle here. Re doesn't bite on the play action fake gets his death gets his death reads the quarterback eyes as the quarterback moves his zone coverage covers and all of a sudden he's able to force that check down pass can't get it to Devonte smith where he wants it and he's able to go get him some of that assisted tackle just like i said a little better at him of getting on that horse sooner 
and p- playing through the tackle that he did that first time. Did a good job of taking away Devontae Smith where he wanted to go. Take away the first down and forcing the underneath stuff. Um, might sound pretty basic, but we've seen how bad our coverage linebackers can be sometimes. And for this six-round guy to come out here and put on this master class yesterday, I've got to say I- I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's a good job. Okay. Just let everybody look at the money warrior. Look at the money warrior up here, y'all. Fyung! Doof bad. What in the fuck? His target. Uh, you're not gonna see a lot of missed tackles come from a, a guy like Rodrigo. I'm not uh Rodriguez, I'm not gonna think. Uh, but he did a really good job in zone coverage today. Just seeing the ball and going and getting the ball. And um I think his snap count is just going to continue to go up. I think he outperformed Derek Barnes. I saw a lot of the times when he did come out, whether if he was tired, but there was a few times where Derek Barnes came in and took snaps from him. But the way he finished out throughout this game, I think he's going to take those snaps right back. I love the way he always takes away the overtop route first. He sticks to the game plan. Take away the overtop. Zach Hurts. No, you can't get Zach Hurts. You can't get Zach Hurts. Throw that underneath, and when you do, eyes on the target. There's a difference between the way he plays the game, um, and it's just it's big boy man. It's big boy stuff right there from Rodriguez. It's film session. If I ain't throw this hip toss in there. <laughs> Here's the hip toss of Calvin, uh, Travis Kelsey, I think that is. I love the way he attacks. Get off me. <laughs> uh, get off me, old man. Somebody has to explain to me how a six-round pick can be better than this. So much better in the first game than the second overall pick. I mean, we saw a couple jitters from him early. And then since after that, I don't know what coach said to him. I don't know if it, the, the, I don't know if it just kicked in and he could not have a job tomorrow. But whatever it was. He strapped up his cowboy boots and he start going hard. Now, then, listen. He doesn't just run into Travis Kelsey and spend the whole play hugging him. You know, there there's an effort that lets you want know that Rocco Rodriguez wants this guy to get the fuck off me. Get get off me. He's trying. Get off me. That's all I'm asking to see out of Aiden Hutchinson is some get the fuck off me. Ready to say it. Malcolm Rodriguez might be the still of the draft. He might be the still in the draft. Look at this effort, man. All right, so look, you got number 97 here, right? And you got number 44 here, okay? Let's say you don't know where these two were drafted. Let's just... I dropped my cell phone. Let's say you don't know where these two were drafted, all right? Let's just say you see where they're lined up. And I say, one of these guys makes $27 million is about to make the tackle. The other one's a six-round draft pick, and he's he's not he's not gonna get to the ball, right? Who would you think I'm talking about? You would think, okay, well, it's gonna be Aiden, right? Because the ball's coming this way. No, watch where Rodrigo lines up at. Watch how he tracks this play down, and watch how he makes the tackle. And and don't forget, Aiden Hudson has one tackle in this game. We already seen Rodriguez make like two. All right, now watch this. Watch, man. This was the steal of the draft in Detroit. Look at this effort. Look at this effort. Look at this effort. I'm already at the ball carrier making a tackle. Look at 97. Doesn't even touch nobody. He's tired. Oh, my God. Look at my man's Rodrigo. Look at my man's Rodrigo, man. Right after he hip tosses Cabbage Kelsey. So he just hip tosses Cabbage Kelsey. I'm sure he's tired too, right? He's going to run this thing all the way down from the backside. That's going to add about an extra five. It's about 20 yards he's going to run down right here, full sprint. Aiden Hudson right here. Just watch your two rookies. Which guy plays with some get the fuck off me? Which one's playing with effort right now? I might give me a 44 jersey, man. He got me wanting to get some cowboy boots and a cowboy hat, man. He got me wanting to get some cowboy boots and cowboy hat, man. That's who should be making $27 million with their family sitting in the press box, number 44. 